this problem says calculate the sum of digits of 2 to the exponent 2015 times 5 to the exponent 2019. This number is very big in such a way that it might be difficult to find the sum of digits. We know that the digits are nothing but the numbers from 0 to 9. And then we know that the sum just means that we add. So let's just say we have this number. Let's just say we have 5 to the exponent 3. And then we want to find the sum of digits. We know that 5 to the exponent 3 is 1 to 5. And then now to find the sum of digits, it means we are just going to add these digits. So it will be 1 plus 2 plus 5 and then it gives us 8. So this is the sum of the digits. And then again let's just say we have this example. Let's just say we have 10 to the exponent 3. We know that 10 to the exponent 3 is 1000. And then to find the sum of digits, it means we are going to add these digits. So it means it will be 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0. And then the answer will just be 1. So this will be the sum of digits of 10 to the exponent 3. So now let's see how to find the sum of digits of this big number we are going to apply the loss of exponents. This is 2 to the exponent 2015 and then times 5. I'm going to write this one as 5 to the exponent 2015 and then times 5 to the exponent 4. Remember that the loss of exponents here says when multiplying the like basis you keep the base and add the exponents. So this is still the same thing because the bases are the same and then you can simply add the exponents. So this is 2015 and then plus 4 is the same as 2019. So the tip here is always change this bigger exponent so that it can be the same as the smaller exponent. And then now I can write this as 2 times 5 and then all to the exponent 2015. So this is still the loss of exponents because if you have a times b, let's just say to the exponent 2. This is the same as saying a squared and then times b squared. So actually, this is just the reverse. So now, let's see how to do from here. And then we know that 5 to the exponent 4 is nothing but 6 to 5. And then now, we can write this as 10 to the exponent 2015 and then times 6 to 5. I want you to understand something. Let's just say you have this number. We know that 10 squared is the same as 100. And then we know that 10 cubed is the same as 1000. You can notice that this one repeats and then the number of zeros are based on this exponent. Because if I can have 10 to the exponent 4, this will be the same as because this one just comes and then you repeat uh, the zeros based on this exponent. So now this tells you that 10 to the exponent 2015, this will be the same as 1 and then with 2015 zeros, which is many zeros. So now here it means this is the same as 1 
zero, 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 zero. There are many zeros. And then this is times six to five. And then another thing I want you to understand is that let's just say you have 10 times two. You know that you are going to get uh, 20. And then let's just say you have 100 and then times two, we know that you are going to get 200. And then if you can have 1000 and then times two, you are going to get 2000. Now you start to realize that this number just repeat and then you are going to write the number of zeros that you are having there. So now as a result, this tells you that this part, this one, is the same as saying 6, 2, 5, and then with the zeros, with this many zeros. So it means this will be our final answer, 6, 2, 5, and then many zeros. And then now we want to find the sum of digits of this. So it means that to find the sum of digits, this is going to be 6 plus 2 plus 5 and then plus zeros. But we know that when we add with zeros, it does not have any effect. So this actually means that our answer will be 6 plus 2 plus 5 and then this will be 13. So it means this is the answer for this problem the sum of digits of 20 to the exponent 2015 times 5 to the exponent 2019. So this is the answer. I hope you understand.